Can I actually grab your shit and run away? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Hey! Uh-oh. Uh... Hi guys, this is Sir Welcome to space! Heaven. To the moon shit, this music is good, boy! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to space heaven. Now, just so you know, first things first, this is a super early alpha uh, Kickstarter demo. I will leave you a link to this uh, Kickstarter page. So if you're gonna like what you're gonna see, I highly, highly recommend that you're gonna visit the Kickstarter, share it with your friends, and if you can, support the developers. Uh, I received the key a little bit early to prepare the footage, just saying. Anything else? Uh, I have my eye on this game for quite some time. I think maybe half a an year. And basically this thing, if you want to put it in simple words, it's reward in space. Literally that. But instead of uh, building a base in the middle of nowhere and trying to cheat the game by selling uh, guts of your enemies who dare to attack your camp, you build yourself a spaceship. Literally that. So if you ever wanted to actually build a gigantic spaceship with docking base, medical centers, uh, refineries, gigantic engines, uh, bridges, like all of that cool stuff, then I'm guessing that this game is gonna be a perfect match for you. Now, because of the demo, uh, well, this is the demo, the game currently offers two scenarios. You have the first one, the second one, and today I'm gonna try to show you as much as that is humanly possible of the first one. So, your crew of four have left Earth behind. And the start awaits you. First of all, you need to build a ship. You have a basic platform and some essential supplies. But you need to build everything else yourself. Play this scenario to learn the basic game mechanics. The other one is uh, about free building and standardization of the ship, so we're gonna see about that thing later on. For now, let's embark on this epic space journey. So as you can see, I'm gonna pause the game. So basically, this is the thing. And for a... Uh, it really acts as Kickstarter demo. This game runs surprisingly well. Now, as you can see over here, we apparently have some uh, things around us already. So we have one asteroid field with this type of resource, then we have another one over here, and then we have some uh, asteroid field with ice apparently over here. And then we have a wreckage of our known ship. Somebody apparently was less lucky than us. And yes, you can visit that thing to gather the resources from that, uh, from the ruin. So, let's see what we have over here. We have four basic crew members, we have two pods, we have a shuttle, we have, I think this is a generator, we have some storage, and of course we have a airlock over here. So, we need to plan around how we're gonna build a magnificent vessel. And also we have plenty important information over here. So we have insufficient resources, we have storage full, facility is not on power grid, no place to rest, and no tool facility. And apparently this one is the most urgent. So, uh, just so you know, I've played this thing a little tiny bit just to know where things are. So I know more or less where are the building stations. So construction at the moment is divided into three different subsections, right? So we have a uh, crew and then you have well actually this is the those are the sections and then you have the subsections so the crew section is science life support facilities and furniture then you have the production which is storage power food item making items resources basically refineries and then you have the ship so it's wall airlocks systems and of course if you want to increase the size of the vessel itself. Uh, okay, so we got that thing out of the order. Now, let's see, think how exactly you want to develop this thing. We could try to turn this thing literally into like a like a, like a a docking platform, right? Something like that. So that'd be nice. Uh, I could try to fit here, I think, a raffinery. We just need to see what exactly this thing does. Reese's hazardous gases. And it's noisy. Hmm, okay. Metal raffinery. Transforms rough metal uh, to advanced building blocks. Okay, so electric refinery transforms noble metal and rough chemical to electric parts. This is hazardous gas and joycey. Noisy. <laughs> joycey. Noisy. Chemical refinery transforms ice to purified water. Energy refinery transforms energy crystals to energy sticks and fuel crystals to uh, FTL fuel. This is hazardous gases and noisy, yada, 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 stuff like that. Okay, so we could try to put this thing and then I could try to put this thing. Uh... It just is hit and it's noisy. Okay, so that sounds nice. So we have this type of facility. Now the cool thing about this game that I really like is that you can technically, well technically, you can move 
basically everything you built. So that's like really fancy thingy from Moonward, I guess. Uh, because if you screw up something, there's not much of a problem for you to move the stuff around. Okay, so let's plan this thing around. Uh, I would love to build the raffiner over here, actually, like this. Okay, now I would like to divide this thing with a wall, okay? So let's see. Okay, we have a wall over here. So this is gonna be uh, the docking bay, right? So I want to make later on like, some doors over here. So the thing is that you can rotate the walls. And you can get like different variations of those things. So you can make your ship look really fancy. So you have like a normal wall over here. Then you have, let's say, like some Jupiter things over here. And then you can turn this thing back into like a normal wall. So you can make your ship look extremely interesting if you really want to. Okay, make this thing here. Right, so we have the docking station here, right? Uh, what else do we need? We need to get some items, right? So this thing makes... Items and weaponry. This thing makes tools. Okay, I would love to actually have this thing. Uh, they want it here, though. Yeah, I think it's okay to build this sphere and then this thing here. There you go. Beautiful. So this is gonna be my crafting station for now. And this thing apparently generates heat, right? As the game have said. So, do I have something? Ah, there is. Thermal regulator. Uh, the right temperature is essential for humans to survive on a ship. This module will try to upkeep a certain temperature per your settings. Once placed, open the item window and to set temperature. Needs power to operate. And you have the same thing over here, which is a wall thermal generator. So it works exactly the same. Okay, let's build this thing here. Now, we also need to have oxygen. Surprise, surprise. So, life support. Life support modules produces oxygen. This module is essential for humans to survive on a spaceship. Needs water to operate. And then we have the uh, CO hazardous gas scrubber. Uh, basically removes harmful, harmful gases to humans from the surrounding area. Needs only electricity to operate. So if you want to put this game actually like into comparison to anything else, I would say this is like reward. Mix it with a little bit of oxygen not included. Like you've played that game on the channel, which is like really cool, especially if you like like heavy physics. I'm guessing this game is like less stressful on that uh, case. I don't know. You cannot see. Okay, so I would like to have the scrubber actually over here. Okay, and then I would like to have the life support system. And I think I'm gonna put it in the generator room. So let's make this thing here. Uh, I want now to make like a wall Right, is that a good idea? Probably it's a terrible idea, but hell, let's do it anyway So, I want to make some computer things over here, come on, game Hmm, not giving me the- ah, there it was, shit I really wish if there would be like a, a Button to just, you know, change the variety of the wall, like a different type of the wall That would be just great Okay, there we go, and make the door over here Beautiful. Another cool thing I think this like uh, like from uh, remote is that you can actually set a priority on a certain building So you can press this button and basically they're gonna focus all their attention to build this thing Which is I think extremely fancy in a games like this. Okay, we're getting like the basics of the ship already It's beautiful. I shall name you the invincible now We are building like some basic walls. I bet they decided to put on the space shoes since I think we ran out of oxygen actually here Let's see the really fancy thingy uh, which will allow us to see the overview of like the things happening on the ship so 92 oxygen 84 oxygen 87 oxygen so that's why they've decided to equip the space suits things go to shit but don't you worry the oxygen generator is already online and it's making us this fresh juicy oxygen yes because we can't plenty need that thing uh what else i can i need i need to put an air vent Okay, can I put the air vent? Hold on a second. Mm, can I put the air vent on the wall? I don't think so. Okay, maybe I... What? Low body temperature. Oh, let me fix that thing very shortly. I just need to get some electricity over there. So, in order to transfer the electricity, you need to actually use the power nodes, right? So that's like a thing. Uh, let's see where I could actually try to build this thing. Can I build you? Okay, apparently I cannot build you on this wall because this wall is not finished yet. So instead of like building the thing on the wall, I just build it like a normal power node on the ground. And now, the thing is that you have to connect this thing. Now, another cool thing uh, about this is, well, at least in my opinion, back in Rimworld, that was like a problem. I also, I had to use like 
levers and stuff like that, like basically buttons in order to activate or deactivate certain like things in the base. Uh, that was especially difficult when it came to making like a backup supply uh, power thingy. Like I've made batteries and then I had to cut off the circuit in order to keep the energy stored in the batteries, right? So just in case, like in case of emergency, I need backup power, I will have some backup power. So a cool thing about this thing is that when you collect the nodes, which I'm gonna select you somehow maybe, there you go. So you select the node thingy, you have to click the link thingy, link button, and now each node can be connected to other three nodes. And a cool thing about this is that you can actually set this thing to send or receive only energy or just work either way. So I think this is actually cool. I have to connect you somehow. Can I connect you to do? Okay, I'm trying to connect you. Hold on a second. I think I... Okay. Connect. Shit. Okay, one more time. Connect you to this. Okay, that works. And now select this one and connect you to the main power source. Shit. Okay, one more time. There you go. Okay, so now you should have power. Ah! Base is online, boys! <laughs> Beautiful. So since we have power now and the shuttles are basically working, let's try to send them on a little bit of expedition and I'm gonna try to salvage whatever metals I can. So let's salvage this. Let's salvage this. Uh, and you boys, if I understand the game correctly, you're gonna get into the little tiny pods over here and you basically will embark on this epic journey to bring me resources. Bye! Initiate! Drop! <laughs> I really like this thing that they actually like drop from the little like uh, like docking stations here. And there he goes, boys! <laughs> Look at him, how he flies. So he's actually gonna fly here and he's gonna try to harvest uh, the minerals. And after that he's gonna return to the base, to the spaceship, to the mothership, drop the resources and then he's gonna be on his way back. So, let's actually, you know what? Let's make ourselves some place to spend. Uh, to sleep actually because that's like the thing so okay we have beds over here so let's see uh, how exactly I want to do this thing all right can I just make beds over here yeah I could but this is not gonna be enough so let's make something like this then I would love to make another wall over here so this thing okay there's the door all right so let's make this thing here make the door here okay and now I want to make like some Resting place over here, right? Uh, not really resting place for the end of the world. More of a like... Ah, furniture. This is what we need. So, I would love to have a couch. Build you here. I would love to have a table. Build you here. Life support. Let's see. Facilities. Kitchen. I would love to make a kitchen here. There we go. And also we need to make a toilet. Uh, okay, so how about I'm gonna squeeze the toilet. In a little tiny room over here. Would it actually like work if I'm gonna do it like this? No, it won't. Okay, we need to have an actual toilet. Because I'm guessing that those guys can piss themselves, right? Uh, not really, you didn't piss yourself yet. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel this thing. I mean, if you didn't piss yourself, then that's fine, I guess. Look at their farming. Oh man. So, if you like worrying about the resources, you harvest the resources and then, of course, you build yourself like an engine to the platform and then you just move to like a new sector. So, don't you worry about that thing. We should be fine. Also, I really want to go into this thing later on. Uh, facility not on power grid. Oh, we're gonna solve that thing very soon. No worries. Ah, it's so nice, man. The visuals are really cool. Like, I really enjoy the visuals. It actually reminds me of a different game, which I can't forget the name. I think it was Space Colony or something like that. Like, that was like a very extremely weird attempt to make like a dwarf fortress type of game also like on a alien planet uh, if I remember correctly that thing was really bizarre because you had to make like domes and then you had to fill those domes with necessary facilities and there was like this this thing that was like this fog of war and it was like really annoying because you had to uh, first like build lamps I think and after the lamps managed to discover the land, then you actually were able to send in the colonists to gather some resources. So, the game was fun. I just remember I had a lot of problems with it. So, expand space hall. Yeah, give me like a minute. I'm having fun. I'm building them a bedroom or something so they can actually rest. Also, I've ordered them to build a bunch of lamp posts. So, we're gonna see a thing or two. How much energy I'm making? 
Hold on a second. Oh, energy stick. Oh, I am not making energy sticks. <laughs> so eventually this thing can, <laughs> this can, this thing can fail eventually. Whoops. Okay, can you like describe me this thing? Eat too much, feeling a little hungry. Can you decide? The fuck, man. <laughs> this is not deciding. Feeling a little hungry, much uncomfort. I'm feeling very uncomfortable and it's affecting my mood in a big way. Hmm. Well, what I can say, dude, low energy. That's why you need to build the beds. I, that's why I order you to build the beds. Huh? Huh? Get the idea? There you go. Go to bed. I kind of like wonder where's my... Okay, those guys apparently don't need beds. They don't care. They just like savage resources. Like, okay, boy. <laughs> Fine with me, man. Fine with me. Okay, drop the crap. And now you. There you go. Thank you. And you're gonna dock into the ship. And you're gonna leave it. And you're gonna go. Grab yourself a good night. Rest. Oh, looks like another ship has arrived. Ooh, okay. So apparently, if I understand this game uh, mechanics correctly, I can actually use the space shuttle over here to go on an epic adventures. So I just have to think, okay, I have to equip your the space shoot just in case. Okay, get on the ship. I said get on the ship. Okay, there you go. So now I can just click this thing uh, on the ship and I think we could actually go to here. Yeah, there you go. He's actually flying! Look at it! <laughs> he undocked from the main ship and now he's going over here. Okay, let's try to... Can I dock here? I can! Okay. So try to dock. Accept. Okay, here I come! Please don't move. <laughs> I really want to dock into you. I can like wonder what's inside. Hello? I'm coming, peace! Okay. Ah, <laughs> of course, backing up. Okay. Making a really nice drifting over here, you know, so they're gonna acknowledge my superiority when it comes to flying on the ship. Just ignore the fact that I don't have engines whatsoever. Okay, boys. Hello. Uh, okay, leave the... Hi. Anybody here? Hey, this is a fully equipped ship. Why the heck there's nobody inside? Okay. Oh, hello. Can I speak with you? No, oh, I can't attack you. Okay, can I can I actually grab your shit and run away? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Hey! Uh-oh. Uh Houston? We have a problem. I just lost my Ah uh, Fuck. <laughs> I just lost my crew member. <laughs> Am I shut up? <laughs> Oh, good news is that I've built my kitchen. I've got like the bedroom thingy, but one of my crew members disappeared. <laughs> and I don't have a shuttle anymore. I cannot wonder when he return. Ah, oh, fudge. Okay, that's something I did not expect actually is gonna happen. All right, boys. So what we can try to do actually? Can I tr can I actually like, try to build an engine thingy? Hmm. Okay, let's try to expand the ship. <laughs> Decided to fly away. Okay, that ain't good. Uh, uh, okay, so how I can extend the size of my ship? Let's see. Hull. Okay, there you go. So, if I understand the game mechanic correctly, I need to one, two, three. Okay, now I need to do something like this, right? So you're gonna go here, and then you're gonna go here, right? And this should be the engine thingy, and then I'm gonna make another thing over here, and this is gonna be the bridge thingy. There you go. And this is gonna be. My ship. I shall call you the Magnificent. What the heck are you doing? Oh, you're extending the thingy. Okay, so you actually have to go to the pot thingy to build the thing. Alright, but I just don't get why only one of them is building the thing. Calling it needs a bed and toilet. No, they don't. Get comfortable, feeling a little hungry. Someone was mean to me. Aww. In space. That's so sad, man. Tell me something about that. Where is my other crew member? Oh. <laughs> I think I've lost him. <laughs> I can imagine the devs sitting in the office like... Okay, so we're releasing the Kickstarter demo. It's basically impossible for the player to lose the... Like a crew member, okay? So we're gonna just give him four. And then there comes me. And I lost a crew member. <laughs> Another interesting thing. Uh, when I build the spaceship, apparently the temperature goes to shit. Minus 45, minus 30, minus 23. Minus 13? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, it's now enclosed. Okay, so now it's only minus 23 to minus 20 to 16. Okay, this one's plus. Okay, so that's interesting to know. 
Right, I've ordered them to build the thermal regulators around. Oh shit, also we're building on this side. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, that's like the fake. <laughs> you should not try to build too many stuff at the same time. Because you can eventually freeze your cr crew to death. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. This is this is terrible. This is terrible. Okay, temperature. I want you to set. Setting 22 Celsius. Okay. That should be nice. Okay, 17 over here, 1 over here, and 21 over here. Alright, it's growing. <laughs> Minus 20, 57? <laughs> okay, so apparently temperature is a thing. Temperature is really a thing. Okay, thermal regulators there are, no problemo. Uh, build one here, build another one here. Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, now this time let's actually try to investigate the wreckage over here, okay? Because th this this is a wreckage. Th this is this is certainly a wreckage. How do I know? This set is record destroyed completely, so I'm sending my ship with one guy on it. So maybe, just maybe, we're gonna be able to find something cool. So, how do I dock? Dock the shuttle by selecting an airlock or uh, a docking tile around the ship hull. Okay, so there's a docking thing over here. Okay, let's hope that this one actually won't try to escape with a crew member on board. Okay, so this one's docking. All right. So, I can set my guy out. Ah, like this. Okay, exit. Uh, you're not exiting? We're not exiting. There you go. Okay, dude. Have your space suit on? Yes, you do. Okay, so I can apparently pick up some of the items over here. Wow, this ship is cool. Oh, shit! Oh! Okay, that's... Okay, can I lock the door? L lock the door. L okay, uh... Or, you know what? I think, I think it's actually time to evacuate yourself. The fuck is this thing? Okay, uh, boys, we are departuring now. Bye! <laughs> can, I, can I departure? I want you to departure, okay. I want you to go back to base. Go back to base quickly. <laughs> this this place is not safe. Okay, uh, why are you not returning? Okay, he's returning. Oh, critical results are slow. Basic block. Ah, I think I have better problems, you know. Okay, the ship is returning back to base. Ooh, okay, that was scary. That was really scary, man. What in the shit? Okay, uh, you know what? I think, I think we're gonna set up like actually like a, uh, like a dev squad and actually go over there and try to deal with this thing, you know? Okay, so can I draft my entire crew? Yes, I can. Okay, can I order you? Crouch, draft weapon. Okay. Get over here, boys. I want you to draft weapons, okay? Punch? No. Pick up. Okay, pick up. Uh, okay. Well, hold on a second. Headgear in use. All right. So, how I can actually order you to in use headgear, primary, secondary, inventory conditions? How I can order you to pick up a gun? Hold on a second. Uh. Pick up. I want you to pick up a weapon. Ah, there it is. Okay, storage. So, shotgun for you. Okay, so that's Felix. Uh, inventory. Okay, pick up. How the hell I activated this window over here? Ah, wait. Storage. Aha! Okay. So, that's you. Ah, yeah. Storage. Ah, so this is how this thing works. Okay. So, does everybody has a gun? No, we don't. Okay. Storage. You put a gun here. Apparently, you don't need ammo, which is very nice. Okay. So, all of you, grab yourselves some space suits, and we're gonna go, and we're gonna destroy the living shit out of that thing, okay? Everybody on board. All right, boys. Let's go. We're gonna destroy this alien filth. Okay, begin assault mission. Everybody out. Hello. Okay, kill this thing. There you go. Now it's dead. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next thing. This is actually cool. It's like Star Trek, but better. Okay. Any more aliens around here? Yeah. This is a photo. Kill it. Kill it. It's dead. We've painted the room with its blood. Awesome. I see some food over here. Okay, let's go over here. All right. So far, so good. Holy shit! This thing is huge. Okay, wow, this is actually a very cool ass space. Aha! Another one over here. 
I bet you can shoot through walls. That's fine. This is actually a cool ass ship, you know. Say what you want, but this is a really cool ass ship. Holy smackaroni, man. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Is it gonna be one more alien? Don't think so. Let's find out. No, it's a desk. Wow, this ship is really cool. It's like a crumpet, but I think it's actually better than my own. Holy shit, man. But I cannot dismantle like some of this crap and actually take it with me. That'd be cool. Okay. So, can you load something from this? Loot. Pick up. Uh, no. Wait, can you actually pick up anything from here? Can you? Boys, come on. I, I cannot pick up anything from... Oh, wait. There's a storage over here. Get over here. Yeah, there's a bunch of storage over here. Unexplored. Yeah, I am exploring this thing right now. Can I somehow order them to grab all of this crap and bring it to this shuttle? Enter craft, no. Move to, no. Take oxygen, no. Space suit off, definitely no. How I can... Shoot. Okay, there's some things over here. Can you actually pick up this thing? I see inventory on the ground, guys. Why you cannot pick them up? Hmm. Well, maybe I have to unexplore. Yeah, I am exploring this thing at the moment. Unless I have to explore everything. Okay, let's explore this final room over here. Okay, there you go. Salvation available. Ah! Select explored ship and go to the salvage mode to salvage resources. Give resource transfer command through tactical menu. Note. Both crew members and shuttle need to be undrafted for them to salvage and transfer resources. Okay. And happen to you have difficulties with oxygen? Do you? You seriously do? What? I don't know. Okay, uh... Right, so undraft you. Undraft this thing. Okay, one of you have problems with oxygen. Why? Okay, you're actually like, doing something? No, you went back to the ship. Hold on. Ah, salvageable resources. Okay, open salvage. Aha, like this. Okay, accept. And put you... Hold on a second. I want to salvage everything, actually. So, okay. no, hold on a second. Salvage. Okay, so I can only salvage those things. Okay. And I want you to send it back to my ship. Move items, I guess? I think so. Oh, they dock it here and it actually like, begin salvaging. Oh, <laughs> the ship was set on autopilot. <laughs> I was so scared for like a minute over there <laughs> that I lost my ship. <laughs> my beloved little ship <laughs> again. Okay, so I can still salvage something from that thing. Ah, you're going back. Are you? No, you're going here. Okay. High body temperature. What? Why? It's 24 only. How do you call this thing high, man? It's normal. Can't say it's like high. Okay, so... Okay, why the hell this thing keeps docking here and like dropping the resources? Can you like just dock here and like unload everything? Plenty you can't. Alright. Oh, now they're actually like doing the salvaging mission. Okay, so the ship comes here. He docks here. And then one guy goes out and he salvaged this thing. Hey! Wait! You left it! Oh my god! Uh-oh. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, uh, dude, you, you, you forgot to, uh, dude, dude, you left a crew member on the other ship. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, they ain't good. They ain't good. They ain't good. Oh, shit. Okay, here he comes back. Woo! <laughs> I was like scared for like a second over there. Holy shit. Uh, that ain't funny. Yeah, Levy doesn't have oxygen. I kinda wonder why! Okay, so apparently we've managed to salvage everything from the other ship. Uh, facilities to dismantle. Oh wait, I have to still get the resources. Okay, how do I get the resources? Uh... Guys? How do you transfer resources? Oh, like this. I think, wait, what? How do you... what? Oh, wait, hold on a sec. I think I know. Uh, okay, transfer. Aha, like this. Okay. 
Alright, so that was for dismantling the things, not exactly for transferring the resources. Oh, I'm so terribly sorry. Okay, there you go. Now we're gonna actually like transfer this thing. So what your boy's gonna do? You're gonna go to the ship thingy, to the shuttle, and actually try to do something useful? Hello? Yeah, okay. Uh, Alright, I guess you have to unload first. No, you dock yourself on the ship and now we go salvage the thing. Awesome! I really like this salvage other ships mechanic in this one. This is actually something cool. Like, you can actually become a pirate if you really want to. So they grab the, like, all the resources they can. Just ignore the blood on the walls, okay? So they grab whatever they can, right? They transfer everything, like, to this docking section over here. Slowly and steady, while the other ship actually goes back to my main ship, unloads all of the crap here and then goes back to pick, it, pick them up. <laughs> this is actually cool. So they can drop the resources here. I'm running this thing on full speed because it actually takes them a while to finish that. So he docks. He waits for them to load. And then he forgets to take them and now he's gonna run out of oxygen. Nice. I just hope that you guys won't try to suffocate, you know? Just, just saying, because I'm guessing that would be like a bitch. What you doing? Oh, you're sitting! <laughs> <laughs> he decided to take a little sit at the desk, you know. I mean, okay, well, he got tired. Carrying all this crap from this destroyed wreckage, you know. Walking next to the dead corpses of the previous crew, whatever thing. Uh, you forgot to take the crew members, I guess? Insufficient oxygen levels. Hmm, I think it's time for my crew members to actually die. Okay, no, apparently they've managed to... Low oxygen. Uh, I kinda need this ship over here. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> I, please don't die! Pl please! Please don't die! Status. Lonely. Rejected. Feeling hungry. Okay, I think you're gonna survive. Okay, there you go. Oh, that was close. Okay, we've salvaged whatever we could. So let's actually see now. Can I actually do a jump? Alright, this is like the thing I, I want to see in the end. So, we're gonna jump. Uh, we're gonna dock the ship. We're gonna unlock. Unlo unlock. Unload all of the unnecessary crap on it. And now, technically, this thing... Okay, hyper fuel, I have zero. Hmm. Okay, not available. So, you wanna tell me... No, I have something here. Look. I have four, currently. Okay, so... They have to just... Okay, let's try to... I'm gonna wait for the ship to dock quickly. Come on, boy. Okay, there we go. Everything is dock, Captain! We are ready to move! No, not this thing. I want to move the entire ship. I don't want to move this segment alone. Alright, let's see. Can I make a jump? Uh... How do I make jump? That's a good question, actually. How do I make a jump? Excuse me. Uh... I don't know how to equip this thing. Hello? How I can make a jump? Okay, let's see. Uh, you can jump to hyperspace by pressing the prepare jump button, which you can find next to the start map button. Those buttons are found in the top center. Ah, this thing. Okay. Build hypersleep hyper chambers for your crew and embark on the interstellar travel through the stars. System helpline. Traveling within a star system does not require chambers. Okay, crew left behind. Navigation, hyperdrive, craft. Prepare, I guess? Preparing for hyperspace jump will force crew members to work and this discard basic needs. Okay, crafts return, charging, jump! Ship not ready! Uh, okay. Hyperdrive driving. Oh, wait, we're actually waiting for the... Oh, you're... Oh! You're actually charging this thing! Holy shit! Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, jump! Oh, navigation, plotting. Ah, okay, so we have to do all of those things, right? So, crafts return, free on free, hyperdrive ready. Now, you have to put one guy into the navigation thingy, so he's currently navigating the ship. So, we won't by mistake crash into a planet. And, three, two, one. Yeah! Oh, Jesus. Wow. I honestly did not expect something like this thing to happen. And then you need to have the chambers to jump into those systems over here. Okay, that's actually cool. Right, so... I want to jump here. Traveling, distance. Yay, I'm here! Okay. Wait, drop. Uh... What I'm doing at the moment? 
I want to investigate. Ah! We're traveling! Holy shit! <laughs> we are actually traveling. Oh my god, this is like traveling for the warp. Hell yeah! Okay, where are we? There's nothing here. The shit! I was bamboozled. We have arrived into the new galaxy, boys. Okay, this is uh, another wreckage over here. Some type of metal over here. And something over here. What's this thing? Asteroid. Energium. Hmm. Okay, so that's apparently like a resource we could try to use. I think I've made my ship a little tiny bit too big. <laughs> okay, boys. So I think this is actually a good point to cut this episode over here. I hope this gives you a good idea of space heaven. I'm gonna try to uh, maybe play this thing a little bit more. Maybe we're gonna try to do... Uh, some more jumping or maybe we're gonna try to go and build ourselves the ultimate uh, Like spaceship. I don't know. We're gonna see let me know what you think and as always remember that There is the link in the description below and this time it's gonna lead you to get the Kickstarter page of space heaven So I hope you guys uh, Gonna actually share with your friends and maybe even back up the project because I really think this is gonna be bloody as awesome But we're gonna probably find out about that thing in the next episode because I'm gonna leave it over here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please subscribe a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.